Good morning everyone. Welcome to this video. In this series of videos we are working on several labs that are important for the AZ-104 exam. Uh, that is for Microsoft Azure Administrator Certification. All of the labs are available on the GitHub from Microsoft Learning. And I'll give you the link to this lab uh, at the end of this video. Uh, in this particular series, we started working on Lab 6, Implement Traffic Management. And in the last few videos, video uh, series, or videos, uh, we have done all of that. We have provisioned the lab, configured the hub and spoke network topology using uh, VNet peering. We have tested the trans transmissivity or connectivity between those networks. We have configured routing in the hub and spoke topology. Uh, we implement the Azure load balancer and in this lab we're going to finish up with the Azure application gateway. So one thing I haven't really talked about the hub and spoke and how is it useful. So I'm just going to go to the Microsoft uh, documentation and show you one thing real quick, mainly the architecture diagram, what we have been doing, just to give you a feel why it's important. So in our lab scenario we had we have three virtual networks and you can think of the vnet1 or vnet0 or 1 so one is the your virtual network and then we peered that virtual network with virtual network 2 and virtual network 3 so there is direct connectivity between this network to that network hub network to spoke network 1 and hub network to spoke network 2 but but uh, since we do not, uh, initially we didn't have any routing enabled. So these two network, they couldn't talk. And in one of the labs, when we configured the routing in the hub and spoke topology, uh, we created the routing rules and everything. And that only when uh, the, 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 the connection between these two networks was possible. Now we are at this level at this time. Now we have configured everything on the cloud side uh, and we're going to finish up our lab with uh, implementing an Azure application gateway solution. So let's get to that and let's finish up with the lab. So let's see here. So in this task, uh, let's go to the virtual networks and we're gonna go and and start working on vnet01 so let's go to our azure environment over here and click on this one it should list all the virtual networks that we have and we're gonna start with the 01 which is the hub network okay and in the list of virtual networks select that one settings and subnet click add subnet so settings where is my subnet okay if you can't find something yeah subnet <laughs> then you can also search here and we already have zero and one in this particular subnet so we can add something else in here and that is gonna be the A new subnet and I'm going to uh, use these names are the configurations for these particular subnets and network security group route table we don't need any route table, route table we don't need any so hit OK uh, the subnet will be used by Azure application gateway instance which you will deploy later in this task. So subnet add gateway is most likely uh, you have to use that uh, name of that subnet. And anytime you are trying to do something like uh, adding a firewall, adding a gateway, you have to have a, a subnet created that will be dedicated for that particular type of feature that you're trying to use. So let's see, so that looks like that's done that's done so that's subnet has been added um, then let's go back to the application gateway and we're going to create an application gateway so far we are still in our virtual network in that virtual network we have created a specific 
subnet that we're going to use for our application gateway so now we are ready so let's go to the application gateway get the that blade click to add a new one and we're going to deploy the application gateway in a new resource group uh, create new uh, is this we are good on that uh, name is this uh, then tier uh, region I think we gotta choose the East ES a uh, US that's where all of our other deployments are tier is standard v2 okay we're good with that scale units is one uh, minimum scale units enable auto scaling actually this is no so there's no auto scaling uh, scale units is two availability zone is one two three and then uh, http 2 is disable and then configure virtual network and let's get a uh, name actually do i have that network Is he one of four zero six finet zero one? Is he one of four finet? Is he one of four zero six finet zero one? So we already have that one. So subnet in this one is the application gateway. So we got everything that we needed. So then click on the next front end. So on the front end, we tap of the uh, application gateway we got to specify in this front end IP address I need a public and uh, choose PIP 5 is what we want to choose oh, there's only PIP 4 um, the name of the new public IP address so we're gonna create a new public address and we're gonna use that one add new and this is gonna be the new public IP address okay then let's go to the back ends uh, the next column our next page and add a back end pool and we'll specify these so just like the front end we need a back end pool and we need some configuration so name is this and back end pool without targets no that's good uh, target type IP address or FQDN so that's good what is the target is this mm, then we need to add another one and we're going to specify the other IP address as well okay so now click add next configuration so click add and then we can go to configuration and on the configuration tab we gotta add a routing rule so add a routing rule okay on the routing rule I need a rule name so that's my rule name uh, we got a listener so we gotta have a listener name okay then front end IP is public then uh, HTTP 80 HTTP 80 is good uh, basic and no basic and so all other options are pretty much the same okay back end target we need to specify okay back end targets so we need a back end pool back end pool is good then there's only one is available that is this uh, after that on the HTT setting we need a setting name so we're gonna add setting name add new setting name HTTP 80 disabled as well HTTP HT cookie base affinity that both are disabled and request timeout is 20 seconds that's all looks good so click add
okay so that's all good and on the routing uh, rule blade click add routing rules blade click add again okay um, next tags review create and create I think I'm already done this so next tags review create and then just uh, create so that should create our application gateway for us and we're just gonna wait for a few seconds I'm gonna pause the video and be back as soon as it's done all right the deployment is now done as you can see uh, from here or you can also look at the notification bar to check for your de deployment and we can just click on here to go to our deployment so this should give us the application gateway this is the resource group and it has got the gateway and the PIP so public IP so let's just go to this one and uh, get my front end public IP address so get that one and then again let's just uh, where do we store we really don't need to store this anymore we just need to test if we can use the application gateway to get to one of our vm so let's just click this and voila so it's now we are using the application gateway and that is serving uh one of our virtual machines and giving us back the information that we need so if you're lucky, let's uh, open another private window and try the same IP address. If you're lucky, it may give you, no, it's not, it didn't give. But if you have enough loads uh, giving to this, you may see it's it's coming from this virtual machine or the other virtual machine is, is responding uh, to your request. But as far as the lab goes, at this point, we have completed um, all of the labs we have verified that is either vm2 or vm3 that's how the application gateway is uh, configured and at this time uh, i'm going to remove and clean up all the resources because i don't want to uh, pay money for the resources that i'm not using outside the lab so uh, at this time we have completed all of the scenarios and lab and task for this particular 06 implement traffic management section and if you have any question please feel free to leave a comment please like if this video is useful to you subscribe and share it with friends and a very good luck for the exam thank you